Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So I have something fun for you today. I have a tutorial and I also have a giveaway. So stay tuned for that where I'm going to give away what we make today in the tutorial. So this is just a quick little idea. I made this today for one of my, as a thank you for one of my loyal customers. And these are just little um, plain notebooks that I've inked the edges. And then I'm going to decorate the cover here, show you how I did it. But um, it's just you know, simple line paper. You can get these at like dollar stores, craft stores, things like that. You know, Mommy. they're just cheap. They're just cheap little um, notebooks. And we're going to kind of add a little junk journal spin on them. Now, I did not decorate any of the pages. I left those all blank. I did put a label in the back for writing, you know, name or something like that. I inked the edges. And then this is the cover I did for um, one of my customers and I did some stitching and inking and I used a journal card from Calico Collage from her fairy garden collection. So check out her shop and you can purchase some amazing, amazing items she has that will really jazz up your work. And then I just added some cute little buttons. So let me just show you what I did. So here's another one. And these are great for like teacher's gifts, for birthday presents when you don't have much time but you wanna add that touch. So we're going to, this is one of my recipes, crafty recipes for a journal cover that I like that works over and over again. And pretty much you're going to find a graphic that you like. So we're going to use this little mini postcard from Digital Collage Club. And I love this. I love the dragonfly, the birdcage, and the flowers. And see, like, it's the same recipe that I did here because here's the image I chose from Calico Collage. So you're going to choose, like, a focal point that kind of coordinates with what you're doing. And then you're going to choose a background. And I either, like, usually like to use something that's going to stand out a little bit. So for here, I used a bright orange cardstock. But one of the foolproof things I like to do is either book pages or music paper. So we're going to use some music paper for this one because it really stands out against the background. And you're building layers. So for the image, we're going to carefully rip around the edges. I love a ripped look, especially on the cover. And I have done this um, method over and over again on my covers, and I'm rarely disappointed. It's kind of my go-to uh, basics for a no-fail <laughs> journal cover. So once I've done that, I'm going to choose an ink color and I'm using orange just because I want to add a pop of color and it matches the ink that I did around the edges. Okay. And um, we can add some stitching at this point if we want to. And I'm going to go ahead and pause and do that. All right. So I just did a simple zigzag stitch around the edge. It just adds some texture. So then what I do is I glue it. And I've said this tip before, but I'll say it again. If you put some glue on the stitches, it really, the threads on the stitches really help grab and make sure it's more secure. So I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle of this. And then I just kind of rip around it, leaving a little bit of a border. It's not an exact science. <laughs> okay. So there we go. And then again, I'm going to ink the edges, but I'm going to use a brown so that I don't have too much ink or too much ink, too much orange going on here. So just a simple brown around the edges. And then that is going to be glued to the cover. And then I like to add one more layer that is um, raised like buttons or flowers or something like that. So I have two flat backs and a button and I'm just going to figure out where I want them. And I like to kind of set them up where I want them before I glue them on because I often don't know where I like them until I kind of move them around the image finding a place that I like. Glue them on and I'm using this glue. I think it'll work okay because these are not, they're small, but I do recommend a hot glue um, for a flat back or a button. There we go. 
and there's our cover now I thought it would be cute I have these little adhesive envelopes that have like a little blank bam my dryer just buzzed I think they have a little paper in here you can pull out and I thought that would be really cute to put on the inside here just so you could write a little note or put your information or something like that so super quick and if you had to make a whole bunch of them and you didn't have a lot of time like if they were party favors or um, if they were teachers gifts for end of the year or something like that and you really only had you know an hour or two um, but you wanted a crafty touch you could just you know put a whole bunch of these together and make each one different and unique. So this one is going to a customer as a thank you. And this one I'm going to send to one of you, one of my subscribers watching this video. So if you would like to make this little um, journal that we just decorated together, then please comment below and um, I will choose and make sure you're a subscriber and then comment below and today is a Friday, so I will choose um, Monday or Tuesday, a winner randomly, from those who've commented on this video. So I just thought there'd be something fun that you might enjoy, and um, I enjoyed making this just light and fun, and I hope that you enjoy doing it along with me.